going on here? Why is this cat still here? And that's how equi equilibrium is achieved through the four forces of light. Any questions? Um, why does the plane have a cat's head? I don't know. It was on there when I got here, so I just rode over it. Okay. Call is here. <laughs> He's not gonna... A, a blurred entry about working at the airport and the Fay falling asleep on the wing of the plane. Yeah, sure, that worth, that's worth the entry. There are also some random class notes. Yes, I won't read them. About runways. The runway numbers actually tell you the direction of the runway. Simply add a zero to the end of the runway number and you have the magnetic heading it's facing. Uh, add a zero to the ending and have the magnetic heading of Okay, pretty cool. Uh, such as runway 9 means it is 90 degrees on a magnetic com compass, so it's facing east. This is also why the numbers on opposite ends of each runway are always 18 apart. About the stalling. Each plane has a minimum airspeed it must maintain under each configuration to keep flying. Something about the exceeding critical angle of attack and the airflow separating from the airfoil, etc. etc. In conclusion, planes are kinda like the bus in that movie which explodes if it goes under 50 miles per hour at speed. That's one of my favorite action movies of all time. So much nostalgia. About engine failures. Contrary to some beliefs, engine failure doesn't make the plane plummet out of the sky. The plane would no longer be able to climb, but can still land in a pilot control glide. Reminder to self, engine failure doesn't just make the plane plummet out of the sky. Engine failure doesn't just make the plane plummet out of the sky. On repeat. Yeah, that's the engine failure in the airplane. Fucking scary, but I guess it's technically not the most scary thing you, you could happen up there. Might be in a bit of a rut. There's still a memory leak missing, and the readings indicate we've activated everything in the area. Eh, maybe we could stimulate his memory somehow. Hopefully, let's keep our eyes open. Right. Uh, well, Neil, why don't you just do your thing? Right. So something's gonna something something's gonna happen. I don't know what to do here. Huh, that wasn't open earlier. Did you do that? Uh, if I did, you would know. I've been literally right behind you. In fact, I don't even know why I'm just following you in a constant manner. We're not gonna break formation, Neil. What the hell? Did we just step into Chrono Trigger or something? What the heck is this? I don't know, but it seems like this may be our ticket out of this memory. So what, we needed a way to continue and this place just magically opened itself up? In a most unsettling way, no less? I'm not sure what's going on with this place either, but there's only one way to know. There's only one way to go now. Come on, we gotta jump. Oh, hell no! I can't even look down! It's the only way to find out, Neil. Okay, I'm jumping in three, two... Somebody pushed him. Quit pushing me off edges, Eva! What? I didn't push you. The F you did it! Yeah, somebody pushed him. The mysterious figure that we keep seeing. Whoa! Whoa! Hey! You hang on, right? What is even going on and why is this happening? Wait, turn your ham down. I think I see them inside. What is even going on and why is this happening? Oh, God, that's Colin. You're doing just fine. We're not gonna die. Now, do you have the runway in sight? I I think so? Okay, fly the approach and don't forget the cockpit check. Um, mixture full rich and primer in unlocked. Zero Yankee Romeo, clear to land runway 21. Zero Yankee Romeo. 
We're too high. Get some flaps in there. Speed. Lower the nose. All right, I have control. Oh, thank God. Uh, I guess it didn't go all that well. Hold on. It looks like we're gonna land. She's just surfing up there. And he had to do the Tom Cruise thing. Hey, you all good? No, Eva, I'm not all good. In fact, I'm dead. Oh, it's so. Get the f up. All right. Oh, I totally thought that was the real game over. It scared the shit out of me. I was ready to turn the recording off. I was going to give this game a zero out of ten. Is it normal to feel kind of dizzy? Don't worry, you'll get past it in, in time. You know what? Here, take my hand. Ah, you remind me of back when I was a young lad. As in back then, I also knew someone else who was nervous like you. Hey, you look pretty cool in that. This was nothing compared to the acrobatic skywriting flights I've done, I tell ya. One day, I'm gonna get back to that. Well, <laughs> be sure to contact us when you die. Come on, Neil. Give him a business business card. Hey, you look pretty cool in that. Oh, the head again. Well, at least now we have all the balls. Heck, <laughs> damn it. Oh, wait. Well, what did she say? Another headshot, Eva. No scope. Booyah! Give him the concussion! Whoa, that, that's lucky. Oh no, he said lucky me. That's unnecessary but awesome. You're lucky I programmed my head to be hard as a rock. You sure planned ahead. That a pun? That a head pun? I'd like to think so. I keep clicking on her. Oh, thank God. I'm still clicking on her. So somebody has been stalking us through all these memories. Oh, Sophia, will you marry me? Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Never gonna beat that. Damn it, Barry. Oh, that's Barry doing that? Best wingmate ever, literally. Well, he did warn him. Oh, 
Did he misspell? Oh, it's supposed to be an A. Misspell proposal. Yeah, he's illiterate. That's why. It's still awesome. I, I will still be thrilled. Cause you know what? People might there might be a, another second or third we, correct version of we we will marry me in the sky. There will never be a, this version. So that's why he got fired. Yeah, when he if he ever needs to spell again, he can't really do that. Come on, it's still cool. It's still awesome. Brother instruments here. Now where can we go? It's a freaking beauty. Oh, we only need one ball in this scenario, so we already got it. Oh no, <laughs> another puzzle is so fast. Right, I got this. At least this time it doesn't give me uh, an ideal number of completing a puzzle. It's like it doesn't. It don't feel the the judgment all the time. I will get all of them in the end, it's just at a varying efficiency. Seriously, only one single orb for the memory of his proposal? Hey, at least we remembered it. That's true. And how are you able to pilot an airplane but not drive a car? Priorities, thanks to you. Come on, we're gonna be late. They have really grown up. His face is such an important part of him. She's sure getting lots of screen time compared to his wife at his proposal. There's something about her that really bothers me. Oh, don't take it so personally. It's not like Colin's your husband. That's not what... Never mind. It does feel like he... <sighs> it does feel like his memory with Faye is a little bit stronger. Hey, actually, what's the matter? You know, I think I'm gonna pass on this one. It's your first rehearsal with him, right? Nervous enough as it is. Hey, I'm not nervous. And even if I uh, were, well, you being there would help. I guess, but I can't always hang around, you know. Besides, you'll be able to concentrate better without me hanging around. Why? You dying? Hey, remember how you always used to tell me about your day after school? Why don't you go on ahead and you can tell me all about it after the rehearsal? Okay, then it's decided. Bye! What? Yeah, will be fine! What the hell? Wow, what a wacky gal. That reminds me of the bird. Weird gal. Um, that the bird used to live in the tree. Is there a connection? 
someone's a little cuckoo in the head. I don't. All right, let's follow him. Welcome. You're one of the newcomers, right? The rehearsal is gonna start in a bit. You should go warm up in the practice hall first. Who's he talking to? He can't see us. Hey, get that horn off the couch before it get it gets drooled on it. Oh, relax. There's already drool everywhere. You. Wow, tight lips. Have you been working out your um, embouchure? I don't know what that is. Yeah, babe. The pencil goes wherever my mouth goes. It's a weird conversation. And why is the vibe so eerie? Like literally, the vibes. What? Why are you saying the same thing? Hey Eva, you know what a gentleman is? It's somebody who, who knows how to play the trombone but doesn't. A gentleman is who knows how to play a trombone but doesn't. Okay. You're not the, you're not the only one who went to band camp. Also, it's a trumpet. Okay. Hey, the rehearsal is about to start. Chop, chop. You gonna follow them? Couple of blank pages again. If you hear a noise at my background, well, it's raining cats and dogs lately. So, I hope you like the sound of rain. I certain, I certainly do. It kind of relaxes me. Is this the right place, Sophia? Um, I can't believe I'm late. Whoa, she finally turns up. Was that Sophia? I guess so. Well, this is gonna be an important one. Calling the Sophia Matter of the Community Band Rehearsal. Faye, like the first time you're not with him at one of these things, and he meets his future wife. Damn it. Well, he does remember her. Even at the first meeting, he, he remembers her. Okay, stop, stop, stop everything. Something was off around bar 36. From somewhere on my right side. Uh -oh. By someone in the cello section. Someone sitting in the second row toward the front. Colin, is it? I think you were rushing a bit. Better watch that. I will. Oh, is this gonna be like uh, the the movie? What what's his name? Why am I fr freezing on the name of the movie? This is one of the, my favorite films from the last decade. It's the J.K. Simmons one. Whiplash, that's the one. De absolutely go watch that movie if you haven't. Alright, let's pick back up from bar 35. Right into the solo. Ready? Yes, I'll read them. It's our solo. Oh, no wonder you remember, sir. The 
sheet music appears to only have cello and the piano parts. I guess that's because Colin only remembers those parts. Well, at least things worked out. Things kind of worked out, you mean? Or we wouldn't be here. That's true. We gotta go all the way back here to just to observe her. Everyone looks cooler with a metaphorical spotlight. Oh, so this is not. Of course, it's not real. Why would they shine on Colin? Our guy sure is dramatic with his memories. He is. An amateur cellist, he sure had balls to ask out the concert pianist. It's not the military, Neil, but it might as well be. Have you seen? Well, never mind. We got all the balls. The music in these games are so pretty. Right. I'm done with mine. He's with Sophia now? Oh yeah, of course, it's back to... Well, the lines are about to meet. So what, what's gonna happen? Me too. Let's see what you... What is that? My best effort. Going on dates already? It sure moves fast. Well, we're still skipping around. Some time has probably passed. Quick pencil sketch. I think it was better than I would ever make. It's still better than I could ever make. Gee, I wonder who he learned to draw like that from. Oh, I wish I had learned drawing a little bit better when I was a kid. Like, I could have. That wasn't exactly the most patient child. Let's just put it that way and put on the note gross under, uh, understatement. Hey, where is it going? Wow! For a cephalopod, it sure is cuddly. It actually kind of tickles. Oops. I don't think this is gonna be one of the regrets, man. Colin took a squid to the face on the first date. Nah, I don't think this is a failure at all. I think she, she's, she's laughing. She's happy here. Why is this even in the petting pool? I guess because nobody else had any problem with it. Well, I'm sure. 
sure, I f I'm, sh I'm sure happy that his overall clumsiness in his romantic settings have not translated to any pilot error. Oh my god. What? What's going on? Jellyfish! Oh, she is happy to see them. Uh, are you feeling alright, Eva? Oh shit. So many of them! She likes jellyfish. Well, uh, it's good to have interest other than gardening, I guess. Go take care of this memory, will ya? Just leave him be for a while. Right. Everybody has the pushing points. A giant world aquarium. What is the shark doing? I want to see it too, actually. Well, I guess I've always loved the piano, but... When I was a kid, I had a piano teacher. Every time I played, she made me feel like the worst pianist in the world. For a while, I stopped going, and I stopped playing. But I guess I was a kid with no self-esteem, because it really got to me. And whenever I doubted myself, I'd remember her words. One day, I had enough. And I said to myself, someday, I'm going to be a concert pianist. But isn't that letting her think... And isn't that letting her dictate what you do with your life? Well, I guess I have a weird way of seeing things. To me, it doesn't matter much which path I take as long as I make the most of it. There's only so little time in this life and we'd never be able to do all that we want. No matter what we do, there'd always be other things to try, other paths to take. So in the end, I think I just have to be satisfied with the ones that I took. But I'm just blabbering now, enough about me. How about you? What made you want to become a pilot? I... I wanted to fly to places. That's it? A long time ago, a friend of mine went somewhere far away. I guess I just wanted to go find them again. Are we talking about... Are we talking about fake? Because that can't be that long ago and... Are we talking about the bird? Because that, that, I mean, the bird was great, but that's a little ridiculous. Anything important going on up here? Not sure. I was staring at the sharks. Okay, call me when we're ready to move on. You sure aren't a fan of us. Oh, you sure aren't a fan of us. Yeah. The, her life philosophy makes it very difficult to pitch to her about changing anything in our life. Alright, we're ready to move on, I guess. 